Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision and this is another small side port on the right side of the main incision. In this case I am going to stain the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens with tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble. The dye is applied in such a way that it stains all parts of the anterior capsule. Then the dye is washed out using PSS and a 23 gauze Simco cannula. The anterior chamber is then filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And now capsulorexis. The ureteral forceps pierces the anterior capsule, raises a capsular tag. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise in such a way that we get an adequate sized rexis of about 5 to 5.5 millimeter. So this is a very satisfactory rexis. And now hydro dissection is done using a 23 gauze cannula and BSS. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. And now again some visco is injected into the anterior chamber and then the tip of the FECO needle is introduced into the anterior chamber. This is Oatly Catarex 3 fecomation. The TIF goes into the substance of the nucleus. Let us see s the direct chop technique in this case. After aspirating some cortical lens matter, the handpiece is turned to make the bevel off. The tip is buried deep into the substance of the nucleus and it is chopped. In such cases where the nuclear sclerosis is grade 3, we need not go to periphery. We can just hold the central part of the nucleus and chop. This is the other hemineucleus. It is chopped into fragments. Each nuclear fragment is emulsified with the ultrasonic energy, which is 65% in this case and then it is aspirated and now the cortical lens matter is being removed partially by this FECO needle itself at this time the vacuum has been reduced to 200 and flow rate is 20 after removing half of the cortical lens matter I decided to come out and then inject some visco and use the 23 goes Simco to remove the rest of the cortex and before that this is enlargement of the main wound by 0.2 millimeter because I'm going to use a B cartridge and now here is the removal of the rest of the cortex this is a totally unedited recording and you are not missing anything And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. 
the antechamber is maintained by irrigation and uh, intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. Whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartis is irrigated out. So the case is done. We just have to close the side ports. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the stab incisions. And now this is the final uh, lavage of the anterior chamber. Yes, it is done. Whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed at this time. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. The integrity of all the wounds are checked with a cotton taped Janssen bard and then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to do direct chop. No big deal, just hold the nuclear mass very firmly at the central part in grade 3 cataracts and chop. Any chopper will do. You just have to hold the nuclear mass very firmly. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.